National Emergency Warning System. Incoming emergency audio. Please stand by for information. This is a government national emergency warning. At the following audio signal, the warning will be issued. This is not a test. At 9 a.m., a severe weather warning will be going into effect all across Australia. According to the Bureau of Meteorology, the entirety of the sky will be dark with thundering clouds and lightning storms will start to appear and are expected to last throughout the evening, lasting through all of Saturday, April 14th, all the way to Friday, April 20th. Rainfall will be expected to be happening with intermittent lightning storms and possible hail with a temperature drop fluctuating all throughout the day. This warning is to go out to all areas of Australia, from New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia and the Northern Territory. All citizens are advised in coastal areas to be aware of flooding, as the falling rain can, and will, possibly cause areas of water to rise 2 to 3 metres. All local governments are advised to use whatever resources are on hand to protect these areas from flooding through whatever means necessary that they have. If you are in these affected areas it is advised to evacuate inland and only take what is necessary with you. Food and other emergency supplies are expected to be delivered ASAP in case of property damage. All flights into and out of the country have been cancelled and every major port is currently on lockdown till the week-long rain has passed. As of now it is also advised for every citizen to continue to have access to AM and FM radios, as well as access to the internet if possible to continue receiving news. Also be advised that it is not just Australia that is affected, as reports are coming in from Europe, the United States, Canada, India, Japan and other nations that they are experiencing similar strange weather patterns as well and are expected to see 2 to 3 metres of rainfall daily over the course of a week as well. It is advised to not panic, and to seek shelter away from coastal cities as quickly as you are able to. Emergency transportation services are currently being set up, and you are advised to remain in contact with your local governments as well as the following warnings for continual updates on what is going on. If you are currently inland, away from the coastal areas, you are still advised to be cautious as the topsoil can be compromised, marshy, and possibly still allow flooding to happen in your immediate area. If your home starts to tilt, or feel unstable then leave immediately as the structural integrity of your home could be compromised if it does not possess a basement. This has been a warning issued by the National Emergency Warning System. National Emergency Warning System. Incoming emergency audio. Please stand by for information. This is a government national emergency warning. At the following audio signal, the warning will be issued and has been tasked with broadcasting at the top of the hour every hour on AM and FM radio frequencies. This is not a test. It has been three weeks since the initial flooding had begun and it has not stopped since, with continual increases in lightning and thunderstorms being reported all across Australia and New Zealand, and even further. As of now all inbound and outbound traffic has been halted inland, as the coastal areas of Australia are severely compromised. Melbourne, Sydney, Newcastle, Brisbane, and other major cities all along the coast have all been flooded and are currently being evacuated. If you are a citizen who is currently within the limits of those cities you are required to leave immediately. As of right now the Australian military has been deployed all along the coastal cities and are working as fast as they can to evacuate as many urban citizens as they can. As of now the rising tides have started to destroy buildings all along the coast, and many areas are deemed impossible to rescue from. Repeat, if you are in these cities, or any other coastal area, you are required to evacuate further inland to safe government camps that have been set up. Please do not try to wait it out, as these areas are considered inhabitable as of now and after the next 48 hours all rescue operations will be scaling back. International travel has been restricted and will not be possible. This is to ensure your safety, as of right now, May 11th, other nations throughout the world are dealing with similar flooding issues. The United States has lost cohesion along its west and east coast, Canada is currently experiencing massive flooding, the European Union has lost access to 90% of its coastal cities, along with the Netherlands completely being submerged beneath the rising ocean. Asia and Africa are right now experiencing similar effects, with many island nations now lost, and Japan having lost 60% of its coastal land. If you are able and physically fit, Emergency Management Australia EMA, is requesting all able-bodied adults between the ages of 18 to 35 to report to local governments to aid in supplying food, shelter, resources, clothing and more to affected citizens. If you are capable of physical work for more than six hours at a time please report to your local governmental EMA locations. This has been a warning issued by the National Emergency Warning System. National Emergency Warning System. Incoming emergency audio. Please stand by for information. This is a government national emergency warning. 
At the following audio signal, the warning will be issued and has been tasked with broadcasting at the top of the hour every hour on AM and FM radio frequencies. This is not a test. As of now it has been several months since the incident known as the flood has started and all coastal cities of Australia are now currently beneath water, with the rise of the oceanic water getting higher and higher with each passing day. The rain has not let up since April 14th, and because of that all arable farmland has been completely devastated with many farm crops already lost and destroyed and unsalvageable food rations, per EMA restriction guidelines, have been a further restricted to 1,500 calories per day per adult over the age of 18, with children 4 to 17 receiving 1,700 calories per day. Food squandering and selling food tokens will not be tolerated and any citizen who is caught selling their food token will be punished according to the Emergency Ration Protocol Act ERPA. All personal possessions must currently be properly tagged by EMA officials and must not weigh more than 1.3 kilograms. Certain possessions, such as family photos, jewelry, and others will be tagged, but everything else must be properly tagged and accounted for. Everything else, other than clothing, will be discarded once the EMA camps are instructed to move. Travel to the coastal areas is currently off limits, as the Australian government cannot ensure safety and survival. The water levels are continually rising, sometimes one metre per day, and as of right now it is reported that many places in the world are currently lost beneath the increasing ocean. Most of the northern and southern American continents are lost, as well as Europe, Asia, and most of Africa with only mountain ranges being the last locations above sea level. Seismic activity has also been increasing as of late as well, and is expected to continue to increase over the course of several weeks due to the added water pressure pressing down on tectonic plates. Because of this, all EMA camps are advised to tear down any building taller than one story, and to not set up tents or other structures close to any potentially collapsible building. Medical care will now be strictly rationed as well, with EMA officials receiving priority status 1, medical professionals receiving priority status 2, and Australian Armed Forces receiving priority status 3. Every citizen is currently required to donate whatever medical supplies they currently possess, such as aspirin, painkiller, or anything else, to ensure safety of everyone. Those who do donate will receive extra calorie rationing. We are all in this together, and we will all survive this. Godspeed. National Emergency Warning System. Incoming Emergency Audio. Please stand by for information. This is a government national emergency warning. At the following audio signal, the warning will be issued and has been tasked with broadcasting at the top of the hour every hour on AM and FM radio frequencies. This is not a test, and any who do not follow the explicit instructions within will be incarcerated, removed, or worse. Since the flooding four months ago, the entirety of the American continents, both North and South, as well as the European continent, Asian continent, and most of the African continent have been lost beneath the waters and have now formed larger, deeper oceans across where they had once been located. Because of the pressure on the tectonic plates due to these new oceans being formed, volcanic activity has been on the rise and there have been a larger, growing problem with seismic activity that has resulted in growing waves that have hit almost every single coast of the Australian continent and has lifted New Zealand from the water, forming millions of new acres of land that were once dozens of metres beneath the sea level. The Australian government has now opened its borders to all who managed to flee the flooding of their countries and have been floating in vast flotillas across what is left of the world. If you are part of these floating refugees, I repeat, Australia has opened its borders and will allow refugees in. However there is a limited amount of space, food, and resources available. Any who come will be subjected to several checks to make sure that you are not bringing in weapons, illicit and illegal materials, and that you are healthy and not bringing in any outside diseases. Once you are admitted you will quarantine in special government facilities for 78 to 96 hours and will be put in a special detention area where you will go through a final round of governmental checks to see if you can be admitted to Australia. Currently, professions and skills in medical, engineering, scientific and other STEM fields are in high demand and will be fast passed if you can prove that you have these specialized skills. If you have weapons, drugs or are carrying diseases you will be turned away at the border. If you do not comply the Australian armed forces are armed and will shoot to kill. If you land on the coast of Australia and are found to not be carrying a level 2 citizen pass, you will be detained until your identity can be confirmed, and if you do not have a citizen's pass, you will be... It is imperative that if you come to Australia or New Zealand, you make your way to cities of... Otherwise you will be in violation of the law. This has been a message from the National Emergency Warning System and will be replayed within one hour, every hour. Godspeed.